Hi everyone, Marianne Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. And I was just in my craft room, so I thought I would pop on and go live and do the third of the card cards that I was making using the specialty vellum paper. It's a new product that will be available in the upcoming mini catalog. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ottawa, Canada. And typically I come live on Fridays, but I was in my craft room, so I thought I would go live. Just trying to get this straight. There we go. Okay, so this is the card I did using the specialty vellum that comes in polka dots, stripes, and this beautiful leaf pattern. So I've been obsessed with this one, and so this is the third card that I've made using this paper. This was the first one that I made. Hey Pat. And so I just put a little bit of the vellum and then did everything else in soft sea foam. This was the one I did yesterday. So a beautiful wedding card. And again, I did the vellum. And I do have it right across the, like a whole regular card base. I was thinking of just cutting it down, but then you'd be able to see your sentiment, your greeting through the vellum. So I put the whole, or just a regular card base, and then put this on the top. <clears throat> These elements are from Sentimental Park dies. So yesterday I used this one and today we're going to use these two and also some of the flowers. The sentiment today is from Amazing Year which is a great little stamp set because I really like sentiments. Birthday wishes is nice and big to a wonderful friend. You're an entire year more amazing and lovely as ever. That's just a beautiful sentiment. So this is available in the annual catalog, I do believe. And then we're also using the Petal Park Builder Punch, also available in the upcoming catalog. And Iridescent Pearls. And we're also using some ribbon on this one, if I remember to put it on. Okay, so these were our two other ones that we had made. Now, this was the actual original design when I first saw this vellum that I wanted to try. So, it's only the third card and finally I'm doing it. So what I did is I trimmed off, I forgot my ruler. So I trimmed off two and a quarter inches, so this must be two inches because it's four and a quarter altogether. And then I cut down the piece that I cut off to seven eighths of an inch. I don't know why I chose seven eighths, but I did. And so we're gonna build this one up, but I am gonna introduce some different colors to this one. So again, this is the die cutting, the die called beautiful greenery or I forget the exact title but it's in the annual catalog and it just does a beautiful job of giving you this impression on your paper and then I have my piece of the vellum which is going to go right like this so you'll still have room for your sentiment up here and then probably don't even need this piece probably get away with just using this one and then this one is gonna go over top. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put the adhesive here because even if it goes a little bit wider, that's okay, but I think I'll pull out my mat just in case. So I'm just gonna put adhesive all the way down and the vellum. <clears throat> now the vellum does have a right and a wrong side. You can see this is the right side 
So I want to lay this down. And before I push it, I'm just going to make sure that I've got it straight. Yeah, that looks good. And there is a bit of glue there, but that's okay because I'm putting this piece on top. And I think I will add this one. I don't have a lot of room to play with glue wise. Maybe I'll add this one first. I'll add this like this. I think you could get away with not using the smaller piece, but it's giving me a little bit more room to put my glue on. But I am keeping it fairly a thin line because I don't want glue on the bottom of this. So this part you just want to line it all up. There we go. Okay, that looks fine. And then this one is going to go here. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the order of things because I do want to put ribbon on this and I'm wrapping it around but it's going to be over top of this. Kind of to hide the seam. Although there's not really going to be much of a seam. I thought about doing this on yesterday's card and then forgot. So I'm making sure my edges are all lined up. So today I'm going to introduce soft sea foam. So we had one all white, one soft sea foam and white, and this one is going to be white and soft sea foam. So I've gone ahead and colored my crinkled seam binding crinkled seam binding ribbon using the dark soft sea foam blend. So now I'm going to wrap it so that it ends up here. I think let me try because Just noticed it's not exact exact so we're just gonna trim it down I don't know if you have this little paper trimmer but it's amazing it's a little bit thick for down there there we go that was available for, at, for one of the kit joining specials and this time for the kit joining special it's also something amazing <clears throat> it's the mini emboss stamp and emboss machine in boho blue okay, I'm just laying this here to see if it's the right size yeah that's gonna be fine okay so I want it to end here Then my, my end will be hidden. Let's just wrap this around. Overlap it a little bit. So I had to trim that off before, otherwise it would be wrapped around and then I wouldn't be able to trim it off. Okay, so that's looking good. I am going to put a small little glue dot under this corner. And I'm going to try to keep it flat. There. There's going to be stuff over top of here. Hi Linda. So I don't need to worry about this looking like the way it does. Okay, so we've got that set. Isn't that pretty? You can see through it. I just love it. And then the ribbon is pretty on the inside as well. So I didn't want my seam to be under here because I can hide my seam here. 
So then I have this beautiful die cut piece from those Sentimental Park dies. So the smaller one we used yesterday, and then today we're using this larger one and the nesting one. And I've gone ahead and stamped my sentiment, birthday wishes, nice big sentiment. And I've stamped it in soft sea foam. You just tuck it in and then rearrange it a little bit. It's not beautiful. So I remember yesterday when I did my card, I used the smaller one because this one would have just been too big, I think. But when you do your card landscape, it's okay to take up a little bit more space. So I am going to introduce some green, soft sea foam green leaves and flowers in white. So I think I'll start by popping this up. And then I'll figure out which flowers I want and where I want them. So the shimmery white, although it is white, it's a little bit of a different color. Just catching. If I put a dimension on here, it'll hold this piece in place. All right, just get rid of these. Anyone else in their craft room today? Kind of overcast here today. After this, I'm going to do some designing for Winter Stamp Camp. Registration is still open. If you're interested, you can check out MarianneCowan.com for information. So I love this die because you can use it huge like this or you can cut it and I am going to cut it. And there's obvious places you can cut it so that it still looks nice. And I do have some vellum ones. So I started a little tray of all of the little pieces that I have here. So there I'll take a vellum one. And there's also, I don't think I want to introduce this different shape flower today. I think I'll just take a vellum one, maybe a white. For me, it's more fun when I have a bunch of pieces already cut out and then I can just layer up. So this one wants to be about, I think about the same place actually for cutting it. And I'll glue everything down once I'm really sure this is exactly what I want to do. Because I'm never quite sure. And had I waited to put this on, I could have used it to hold these things down, but I really kind of need to see what I'm doing here. So I want this one a little bit shorter actually. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down because it's bugging me. So let's just tuck this one under. There we go. That's exactly where I want it. And then we'll take our vellum one and we'll tuck it under. I always start with a color because the vellum wouldn't show up quite as well against white. I want this one flowing this way. Yep. Now I ended up putting it exactly the same length. This is kind of not what I wanted. Don't know if I want another one because we're going to start adding some little flowers. I also had these that I cut out the other day and didn't like. No, I like them. I just didn't like them for what the card I was using. And no. We'll save this one though. I might use something down here maybe. It gives a little bit of green behind the flowers, which I kind of like, but I'm not convinced. I like those two for sure. So I've cut out some flowers from Shimmery White, and then we have this whole little collection that we were using yesterday. So vellum, polka dot vellum, regular white, and then the Shimmery White. But it's already got quite a few, so I'm not going to add as many today as I did yesterday. I went a little overboard. 
but I do like these ones that poke out. And originally I thought after I die cut them, I thought, oh man, I should have used adhesive strip. But no, because I don't want them glued down the whole flower. So let's bring in a couple of those. I think I'll use that one. Maybe a vellum. It actually looks really pretty just the way it is, but you know me. I always have to add a few more. And I do want to get some height. I was thinking of perhaps adding some of the flowers amongst the leaves. Let's try that. I'm going to push it down a little bit. Sorry, that boggled a bit. Oops. There. So I don't really want to add a lot. Might even just add some pearls. Definitely add some pearls. And I'm not really sure I like the flowers up there, so let's stick to here. So I'm going to add this one. I will roll up this a little bit. The glue dot just, it gives it some height and it also makes it not quite as big, but I am going to put a pearl in the middle. This one, I want to use a dimensional. I don't have my minis over here. Whoops. I guess I probably could have used a full one. Let's put that there. I'm wondering if we need like a little bit of greenery. Let's try just like a smidgen. Now, I have to be careful I don't put it over my sentiment, which I almost did. Hmm. And obviously we want to keep it on the card and not hanging off the edge like that is currently doing. And you can't really flip it over because on the other side it's not as nice and it does have some little indentations in the leaves so you don't want to lose that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's add that. So we're just introducing a little bit of soft sea foam, not too much, just some accents. So again, we want to make sure that it stays on the card. And then I think one more here, maybe vellum. I know what you're saying, that's not vellum. Just trying it out. Maybe that one. And this over top. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's put this one on. I'm not going to get carried away on this card. Just adding a few. And I want that not to be covering up the W. And I'll roll up a glue dot and put it this on top. And tuck that in. I don't think I want that over there. When you have a whole bunch of things, you can just play around and try it. And if you like it, leave it. And if you don't, don't. I feel like I almost need something green over here to kind of balance it out. Let's cut it a bit smaller and see if we like it. I 
I just try to cut it so that it might be what it actually would look like. Yeah, I think that's good. I just feel it needs something green down in this corner because we have all these white flowers with the green and then no green down here. So that's just a bit and maybe just one flower down in this section. It's going to be hard. Maybe a vellum. Oh, I like this one. Might be too big though. Yes, too big. So we've got this little one and maybe a white. Yeah, that might look nice. Okay, so let's, you could use white glue as well to glue these together. With glue dots, it just glues together quicker when I'm doing it on video. So you can see it's got little indentations, almost looks like a sand dollar. It's not, but, and I think I'll pop this one up. too big let's see if you put it too small sometimes it falls off so just one on this side okay now this is a little bit floppy so I am going to add you can make it so that you get one glue dot that's going to hold down both we go. All right, so let's add some embellishments and let's put Wink of Stella on this one. Easier to do when you do it one layer at a time, just saying. And I don't think I can put it on there, but let's put it on this one. I do like the shimmer white. I think it's pretty. Get all these out of the way. Birthday wishes. Nice. So now I'm using iridescent pearls. And these come in two sizes. So I'm going to put a couple up here. And then add some to my flower middles. Let's give this one a big one. Now, you are running into the possibility of it being a little bit bulky for the male. There's so many flowers on this one, that's why I didn't feel like I needed to add quite as many more as I did yesterday. And just by adding pearls, just highlights each of the little flowers. Pretty. Whoopsie. So this one I'll give it a big one and a big one for the one beside. And then little ones for the littler flowers. I did post the other two cards on my blog, MarianneCowan.com. So if you're looking for measurements or the products that I used and the ones that aren't available now, I just wrote available January 5th, but I did give you the Canadian code. I think I'm going to need to order some more of these. They're so pretty. One more. slid or else I didn't put it on properly. All right, now I'm just looking at it and after all my discussion about the vellum and being able to see through it, I've covered up most of it, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Okay, birthday wishes. You can see the vellum through though. I think that's a really pretty effect. And you still have lots of room to write your message. If you can see through your message in these little bits, I don't think that's a big deal. 
Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching me create this card. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. And also on YouTube, I republish my Facebook Lives and also other um, crafting ideas. So let's just bring them all back in. So here's our finished one for today. The little bit of see-through. Here's our one from yesterday. So we kept this one all white and just introduced silver in the trim and in the heat embossing. And then this one is from, I think it was last Friday I made this one. So soft sea foam, again that beautiful vellum. And someone asked on YouTube if I have a special adhesive I use for vellum. I don't, I try to be strategic. Like right here, I'm gonna do it right now actually, where it's popping up a little bit there, I will put a glue dot underneath the pearls. So when I'm designing, I try to think about where I can put my adhesive so it's not gonna show. And there we go. So just by adding that glue dot behind where the pearl is, you can't see it. And I find sometimes with the vellum that has a pattern on it, you don't see the adhesive as quite as much. All right, that's, I'm not, I'm going to step away from the specialty vellum for now. And actually later on today, I'm going to be designing for the winter stamp camp and also playing with the country floral, country floral lane, I think it's called, which is a beautiful suite of products again available in the January mini catalog. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that you get to try out some of the designs that I've created and that you get to send them to somebody because that's the important part. Make a card, send a card. All right, thanks for joining me and I will be back Friday for sure but I might pop on another time this week if I'm in my craft room and feel like sharing an something that I'm creating. Thanks everyone and have a great day.